Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. A couple of showers around earlier in the morning, then the sunshine returned, and uh, we're expecting a pretty chilly night. Look at the live city cam picture. Nice sunset underway. It'll be a fairly nice uh, sun setting in a little bit. 63 in Smithfield right now, 70 in Providence, 69 Newport, New Bedford right now at 71. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar remains very quiet. Down there at URI, the quad cam, 67 degrees, still holding on to blue skies there. 73 up in Cumberland, Emerald Bay Retirement Living with a wind now from the north northwest four miles an hour, bringing down the cooler and drier air. And you can see the skies have really cleared out across the northeast, courtesy of this cold front, which is going to continue to work its way offshore. High pressure will build in overnight. Our skies will uh, be clear. We'll have the dry air in place. We'll have the winds going to calm. The end result will be the temperatures falling like a rock down into the 40s later in the night. And then tomorrow, after a chilly start, we'll have that fallish feel to the air. But we're looking at uh, some changes, quick changes, Tuesday, a warm front will be working its way into the northeast. Out ahead of it, lots of clouds, maybe a stray shower or two, but the warm front will be introducing summery weather back into southern New England. Your future cast for this evening, temperatures will be falling down to the upper 50s by midnight. At the bus stops tomorrow morning, looking at a temperature about 53 degrees first thing in the morning. So a chilly start, pants and jacket in the afternoon. Probably don't need the jacket, but it'll be mild and dry temperature, about 67 degrees. Upper 60s pretty much everywhere tomorrow, 68 degrees on the east side. Downtown Providence about 69, maybe 70 degrees. Riverside 68, Warwick 68 in the upper 60s there in Cranston as well. Lots of sunshine expected for your Monday. Mid to upper 60s along the South Shore. If you're headed to the beaches, about 67 degrees in the air and the water. Safe sun time, about 20 minutes with loads of sun. Out on the bay, visibility unrestricted. Winds initially in the morning from the northwest, turning more southerly for the afternoon at light speed. Small waves, high tide Newport Harbor tomorrow morning at 1105. Uh, 1104 in the morning up in northern Rhode Island, mid to upper 60s. Plenty of sunshine. Beautiful day over in southeastern Massachusetts. Beautiful out here as well. Temperatures should be topping out at about 68 in Fall River, 67 degrees over there in Taunton. We've got a roller coaster ride as far as temperatures this week, though. We're looking at uh, mid 70s by Tuesday. Look at Wednesday, 85 degrees with high humidity, 82 on Thursday. Then the temperatures begin to fall back down for Friday. So a lot going on this week as far as temperatures go. Maybe a stray shower Wednesday. Thursday, some scattered showers and thunderstorms around Friday. We cool off Saturday and Sunday. We are looking at drier weather. A little uh, taste of autumn there again next Saturday into next Sunday. So we've got some uh, crisp weather on the way for tomorrow. And then summer returns for a little bit. I know I was going to pull out my sweaters. By the time I get them out, Wednesday will be warm enough, but then Friday probably. That's right. Leave the ACs in the window, at least for this week, because uh, you know, look at some more warm stuff on the way. All right, TJ, thanks so much. Coming up on Eyewitness News at 630, the Patriots.